Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. You're probably looking out to starting your DevOps journey or cloud computing journey this year and you're wondering how to get yourself self-taught or probably you've seen a lot of resources on YouTube, on LinkedIn and other websites that are giving you enough motivation to start your DevOps journey. So you're wondering how to go about that. So in this video, I'll briefly be telling you how I will personally get myself through a cloud computing journey or the DevOps journey if I also take this journey all over again. We want to stay true to the end to get some of those tips which you can use if you're starting your journey in the DevOps in the cloud computing space. The very first tip which I want to share with you is for you to set the right foundation. Setting the right foundation is very important when starting the DevOps or cloud computing journey. Remember, it's actually one of the ways through which you can transition from any given occupation or every given career which you're currently doing into a career in IT. So you must have the right foundation, you must have the right mentality about this journey which you're Because if you don't have the right mentality, one month down the line or three months down the line, after going through a lot of resources on the cloud, you'll be overwhelmed and without the right foundation, you easily give up the journey despite being in it for three months or for six months. So, so you must be willing to set the right foundation as far as your journey with DevOps and cloud computing is concerned. Setting the right foundation equally entails you actually mapping out your time with respect to how you want to go about studying cloud computing, especially if you are being self-taught. Because if you are going through an academy, most academies will give you a guided path which you can use to understand or to get a grasp of all these DevOps concepts. And some of the academies even go as far as preparing you for interview. If you actually are interested in any of these academies, I will leave the link to some academies which you can register for their bootcamp and have access to a guided training program but well if you don't have the resources to go through a boot camp or any academy that is preparing for DevOps or cloud computing roles you want to set the right foundation you want to have a personal study time you want to have the right organization of yourself towards meeting your required goals the second most important thing for you to do is to get the free resources available for you to start you need to get the free resources available for you to start and one of the free resources which i can easily recommend for you to get started is for you to get into the aws portal and create a free aws free tier account. The AWS free tier account gives you the possibility to implement some AWS related services or to go along practicing a lot of this AWS uh, stuff which you'll be learning on the cloud. So AWS knows that there are a lot of people like you want to get started and don't have the resources to purchase some of the services which AWS offers and they've made it easy for beginners to actually have an access to their portal to get themselves trained. So you want to visit the AWS free tier to create yourself a free tier account which you can use to get to understand some of the core AWS services and practice. One of the most widely used free resources which I recommend you if you want to start your journey which is actually a guided path is the AWS Skill Builder. The AWS Skill Builder will introduce you to all key AWS services from networking, compute, storage, databases, Route 53, load balancing and all key fundamental AWS services in a lab-like manner so you want to visit the aws skill builder to get yourself started free now there are also many other free sites which aws has to give you understanding of specific resources maybe you want to understand elastic container service there's a whole website to teach you elastic container service if you want to understand kubernetes there's a whole website to teach you kubernetes on the cloud if you want to study devops on aws there's a whole website to teach you devops so you want to also check out most of these free resources and do the hands-on experience that are available for you on these websites now the third tip which I want to recommend for you if you're starting the journey or you want to get yourself self-taught is for you to do a lot of hands-on exercises. Oftentimes, before getting the job with the skill which you acquire along the DevOps journey, it will require you to do a lot of hands-on exercises. And before a company hires you, you must demonstrate your ability to implement some of the services which you might have been studying over a given period of time. So as you're setting up yourself a personal study plan or if you're setting up yourself a personal way which you want to study AWS, you must have special time to practice these services. And equally, AWS has a lot of free resources that can give you hands-on experience with their services. You want to visit AWS Lab which has a very vast variety of AWS services which you can have hands-on experience with and again this is actually a very free service AWS Lab and equally there's the AWS GitHub repository which I'll equally leave in the video description which you can use to have access to some of these free exercises that you can use to build yourself along your journey. 
Also, if you are not yet subscribed, or if this is your first time coming across our content, do well to hit the channel subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel because I always produce videos like this to help you in your DevOps and cloud computing journey if you are transitioning into the DevOps space. Or equally, if you are actually looking forward to get yourself a job and you are wondering how to get around the interview preparation journey, I am available to help you for your interview preparation journey this year. The fourth tip I want to share with you is for you to learn other services along the ecosystem of AWS. AWS is one of the vast majority of cloud services or cloud providers and there are a lot of services that are integrated or that can be used with the AWS service and when customers or when companies are looking out for talent, they require people who have experience with these AWS services and other open source services as we will know. Now, you want to learn maybe a service like Terraform, you want to learn service like Kubernetes, you want to learn Docker, Ansible and a whole lot of all these other open source technologies in the cloud ecosystem and lastly you should have in mind devops devops is one of the key things which you cannot escape in the cloud computing environment now so once you're preparing yourself to get yourself a job this year you must get ready to understand the key devops processes so you also want to learn some technologies around continuous integration and continuous deployment you want to learn technologies around containerization container orchestration you want to learn technologies around infrastructure as code monitoring and logging communication and, 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 and collaboration technologies all those technologies around the devops culture so once you have experience with aws and you add some key one or two resources around the devops field it will give you a very good advantage when job it will give you a very good advantage when searching for a job after you've learned all these technologies. So do well to get the right foundation when you want to get yourself started with the AWS journey. Equally, make it a must to have a personal study plan along your studies with the AWS cloud. And also, access those free resources available on AWS free tier, AWS labs, AWS GitHub repositories. And also, do not limit yourself to AWS. Get exposed to other services along the AWS and DevOps ecosystem. And why not learn some key DevOps services along the DevOps practice. Do well to schedule one-on-one -on -one interview preparation session with me if you're actually looking forward to getting your job. And also, if you really want to get more orientation along the DevOps journey, I'm available to help you give you that clear orientation towards you getting yourself started on the cloud. See you in our next video.